we come to a very special moment in our program. I wanted to introduce you to two gentlemen. First of all, uh, perhaps we'll introduce Jack Kelly first. Um, I mentioned Jack before, and Jack is well known to every brass band musician, I think, throughout the country. And I also want to introduce you to his friend, Mr. Keith Ford. So if those two gentlemen would kindly come forward this afternoon, we'd like to acknowledge you in the way that the nation has acknowledged you in the last few years. Tim, have you got these two guys live streamed around the world? Everybody can see them and acknowledge who they are and what they've done. Jack Kelly thought a few years ago, Jack himself became a recipient, a recipient of the Order, a member of the Order of Australia, and he thought in due course his good friend Keith Ford deserved the same award. On, on this very day, it has been announced that Keith Ford is now a member of the Order of Australia. Now, some of you may not know Keith, and you may be saying, yeah, but why? You know, why him, not me? Well, I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Keith was born in 1929. If you do a qu little bit of quick arithmetic, that makes him about 86, I think, Keith. He'll answer to 86. Is he a bit younger than you, Jack? Same age. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jack is six months older, so two of, two of the veterans of our brass band movement. Keith was born in 1929. He started playing in his school band at the age of seven. And in 1956, he joined the Brunswick City Band after having played in numerous bands around the city. He's been a lifelong member ever since of the Brunswick City Band. In 1967, he started the junior section of the Brunswick City Band and later the youth section. And he continued doing that from 1967 right through to the 1990s and has produced numerous excellent players. That band and the junior system that they introduced became a model for lots of other bands around the state and it was taken up by the Victorian Bands League as a model for bands and junior bands everywhere. In due course Keith has been the Honourable Secretary, he's been the junior band leader, he's been the senior band leader right through to 1995 with the Brunswick City Band and at the same time he's a member of the Executive Council of the Victorian Bands League. It wasn't enough. Getting towards the end of his career as a player, he thought, I'm going to start another band for blokes like me who uh, have got a bit more time on their hands. So in 1993, he started the famous Huffers and Puffers Band, which is virtually for retirees and people who've uh, nothing better to do on a Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon. The band is extremely popular and still plays at least four concerts a month, uh, year in and year out, and the 86-year-old Keith Ford is still the bandmaster. Just a brief acknowledgement of all the awards that have, just five or six of them. He's been a past executive member of the Victorian Bands League. He's a past delegate of the Victorian Bands League. He's earned a badge of merit from the Victorian Bands League. He has the badge of honor from the Victorian Band League, which is only awarded after you've put in a minimum of 35 years service. He's a life governor of the Brunswick City Municipal Band and of the Moreland Band. He's a life member of the Victorian Bands League. He's a Community Service Award winner from the Moreland Council for outstanding service to the community. What an extraordinary life of achievement for the Paras Band movement. I give you this afternoon Keith Ford, Order of Australia.
should give the man the right of reply. Mr. Keith Ford. Usually when I make a speech, you've got to put your clocks on me, but I'll be short. Uh, I was one of the members that voted in to form the youth band back in whatever it was, uh, a long time ago, before some of these got into the band. Mark was one of the originals, and I think Stephen, my other son, sitting up top there, now the first one of the first members in the youth youth band when it first started. Uh, I didn't get involved with the junior band first. It was about 1972, to be correct. My brother-in-law, Ray Hines, was the first conductor of the junior band at Bruntick. So uh, I thank him for giving me the opportunity to take over because he stepped up as a senior band master, so they had to find someone else, and I was the one who fell for it. I, I was connected with that sort of the juniors and seniors right up to 1996 when... My son took over, and he's in the middle of the band here today, so I'm very proud of that. Uh, I don't think I'll say much except I'd like to thank my family that organised this. Kept it very secret. I didn't know till just before Christmas. Also to Jack, to Howard, Peter Corwell, and any others that was connected with this. I believe a lot of the huffers and puffers knew, but no one told me. You know, it was a big, big surprise. You know, thank you very much. I can't show you the middle because I don't get it till later on in the year, about May or April or May, so I'm going to see the governor. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>